Meghan Markle didn't understand that Princess Diana had to work like a dog for more than a decade within the royal family before becoming a global humanitarian superstar, a royal expert has claimed. Appearing on ITV's Lorraine Today to discuss her new book The Palace Papers, ex-Vanity Fair editor Tina Brown, claimed that Meghan didn't understand her role when she joined the royal family. The former Suits star looked to the example of Princess Diana and thought that she could follow the same path, but Tina argued that she did not recognize the great deal of very humdrum assignments Diana undertook on behalf of the firm before she became the icon she remains today. Speaking of the Australian tour, Ms. Brown said, she didn't like it at all. She found the whole representational job of suppressing your own views and representing the monarchy, for her, it, was just an anathema. It's not how she viewed her role, the world, she did not understand the point of it and for her, yes she was a great success, but it was not something she wanted to do. I think that was her fundamental sense of misunderstanding of what was going to happen when she joined the royal family, she saw the palaces and Diana as this global humanitarian superstar but forgot that for 16 or 17 years Diana worked like a dog within the royal family doing a great deal of very humdrum assignments. It was her charisma she brought to the job that made her so extraordinarily special. Miss Brown reportedly discovered Meghan's opinion of Australia through a former palace staffer, who told her she was more interested in causes she wanted to spotlight. So, Meghan must have been thrilled with it all, right? No. She apparently hated every second of it. She didn't understand why things were set up in that way. Instead of being excited when thousands of people showed up at the opera house, it was very much like, what's the purpose? I don't understand this, a palace employee told Brown. The Sussexes completed 75 engagements in 16 days across Australia, New Zealand, Fiji and Tonga during the whirlwind tour, all while Meghan was in the early stages of her first pregnancy. In other news, the premise of the animated children's show was to show the adventures of Pearl who would be inspired by great female figures throughout history. Meghan announced the Netflix show on the Archul website that stated she would be the executive producer on the program alongside David Furnish, Sir Elton John's husband. The Duchess of Sussex spoke about the show in July and said, Like many girls her age, our heroine Pearl is on a journey of self-discovery as she tries to overcome life's daily challenges. I am thrilled that Archul Productions, partnered with the powerhouse platform of Netflix, and these incredible producers, will together bring you this new animated series, which celebrates extraordinary women throughout history. However, news that the project has now been canned by the streaming giant came after the Duchess of Sussex wrote a children's book The Bench. Author and comedian Tim Young mocked Meghan as he tweeted, Meghan Markle's Netflix show that nobody had ever heard of got cancelled, the hits keep coming. The tweet received criticism for implying that the show had been aired regularly, which it had not as it never made it past pre-production and therefore no show was made. The show was one of the projects announced as part of the multi-million pound deal signed with Netflix by Meghan and Prince Harry. Many Twitter users came to Ms. Markle's defense with at Mike underscore 77 Martin as replying, Why are you celebrating her show getting cancelled? What exactly has she ever done to you? Another Twitter user, at Debunk Junction, added, Scratch that. Her project that was in development was shelved, hardly a cancellation of a series that was produced and aired. Perhaps if a comedian like you were actually in the business, you might know these things. The project was shelved as part of Netflix's strategy to save money, it has been reported. Pearl is one of several projects to have been cancelled after the streaming service lost 200,000 subscribers at the beginning of the year. Since the drop in users, Netflix's share value has plummeted by half as investors are increasingly concerned about its performance against rival platforms such as Disney, Amazon and even the cinema which has returned since the pandemic. The royal couple's relationship with the streaming service is still very much intact as the camera crew for Netflix was seen following the couple as they touched down in the Netherlands for the Invictus Games. Their trip to The Hague is thought to be featured in a series about the event and the experiences of the couple. The announcement of the deal on the Archul website said Archul Productions will utilize the power of storytelling to embrace our shared humanity and duty to truth through a compassionate lens.